All right, here we go. What's up, everybody? Beautiful people of Instagram, this is Jose Trujillo. I only happen to be the world's greatest living artist. Let's get a little bit closer to this thing. There we go, that way you guys can see my magic. All right, let's do a little painting because why not? Why don't we do a painting? Let's do a painting. Yeah, let's do something figurative. Today we're doing something figurative, okay? Figures. Let's do this. Gonna get some, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of red, a little bit of Genesis Qua. And then, now let's do, there we go. And then let's do, there we go. Ha ha ha! Too fun! It's way too fun. Okay. But, oh, let me get some more, uh, some more black over here. Some black. Yeah, let's do this. We got this, you guys. We got this. I hope everybody's doing great. Hope you guys are all being super awesome and productive and keeping it, keeping it real out there. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, be careful with this loose brush. It's going crazy on me. <laughs> so so I've been trying to upload some stuff on YouTube and I don't know if YouTube's like not my friend right now I don't know what's going on I haven't been able to upload and I'm, I'm sort of like well you know whatever if I can't upload right now then Nimoto Nimoto means, uh, oh well. I love sort of paint, painting with a, with a sketch type of vibe. Um, someone was telling me, dude, those are paintings, those are sketches. I'm like, they're paintings to me. <laughs> With that flow, right? Because you never know what's happening. That's one of the reasons. It's how I let loose and how I allow the... the what do you call the... The magic in my... My way of looking at it, right? You never know what's happening, so. So if you just, uh, well in my case, I like to draw and paint at the same time. If I'm just drawing, it's it's saying so much more to me, right? The the painting starts telling me something else. Thank you so much, uh, Melissa. And then that's how I can.
just let it, you know, let it be. That's how I can let it be. Like the Beatles said, let it be. Yeah, a couple of lovebirds right there. See what I mean, guys? Come hang out with me, guys. All kinds of cool stuff around town. I've been painting for um, about 20 years now. I've been painting for about 20 years. I've been more or less, uh, yeah, about 20 years. I've been doing the serious thing, uh, the, the daily painting, creating artwork uh, as a profession for the past uh, six years. But, yeah. Is the couple right there loving each other? I was self-taught. I wasn't. I wasn't classically trained. Uh, I just. Uh, I just picked up a brush one time, one day, and I was like, "Man, I'm gonna try this thing." And the first thousand attempts were miserable, and then the next thousand started getting slightly less miserable, and then. <laughs> <laughs> and I keep going, <laughs> but yeah, there was no, uh, there was no, no, no training uh, at all, uh, classic training. Uh, it was more like I gotta do this, right? And then once I started learning a thing or two, uh, I started uh, doing some more, uh, more uh, deeper training, I guess, plein air and. Uh, painting in the open air and then uh, learning more more of the uh, what do you call it the composition and stuff like that So you guys have it. This is one of my je ne sais quoi. <laughs> Thank you so much. Let me show you guys what I've done here. I think I have. I think I definitely have done my time here. Uh, painting, as, as the guy used to say, painting is not a sport, right? So I don't. I don't do it. I don't do it outside. He used to say that. For me, painting is a. Uh, Working itself, not necessarily painting, but working itself. I feel like it's a. Uh, if you, I think if you if you're looking to, if you're looking to get better at it, I think you have to treat it as a, as if you're an athlete. You have to look at you know, uh, training, muscle memory, and practice, and timing, and that kind of thing. I, for me, it is anyways. I love the, the. That part, that aspect of creating art. It's, you know, it's, it's just very simple, but I, I try to draw as I'm painting. That's one of the things that I like to do. Doing, doing that at the same time. Let me remove the glare. You guys can see a little bit more. But again, you know, this is more of the expressionist, Faubist, maybe some, some impressionism in there, uh, especially the, la the later impressionists. Uh, more more post-impressionist, I guess, something like that. And there's my uh, my couple hugging right there, hugging it out. I think this guy right here, or, well, there's it's two people. I don't know if it's uh, uh, if they're the same gender or not. I don't know. 
uh, different genders. Who knows? They just love each other. That's all that matters. But I think this person right here was like, I forgot your birthday. And then this other person was like, how, how dare you? And then this person was like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's, like, oh, it's okay. It's okay. Just go get something now. Buy me dinner and go get me a present. Something like that. <laughs> Try to make a little story out of the, the romance right here. So there you guys have it. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm the world's greatest living artist. It just happens to be that way. I didn't choose the art world. The art world chose me. And uh, it's just part of my thing, you know? Just showing a little bit of what I'm doing here while, uh, while I keep growing and, and, you know, learning more and all that good stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will be posting more stuff and showing you guys uh, my process, using my palette. Very messy palette, just how I like it. I mean, the paintings have to be somewhat messy for me to start enjoying my process and start enjoying what I'm doing. Thank you so much, guys. I will talk to you soon. Take care. Adios. <laughs>